dear students welcome to nrs youtube channel so in the last class we discussed regarding microsoft office 2010 package and we also discussed we have so many different type kinds of you know, software packages we have like apple pages we have google doc we have open office writer we have liver office we have so we have different kinds of software packages for the word processing right so in the basic icit skills so mainly we are uh, study about word processing right so whatever what i told you that all packages comes uh, are used for the word processing so in this unit we are going to concentrate on microsoft word 2010 so the microsoft word 2010 is a application comes in which package microsoft office package microsoft office so in the microsoft office so in the last class we discussed how to open the microsoft word right so that all already we discussed that one so to open the microsoft right so in the microsoft uh, sorry microsoft office how to open you need to click on after installation of microsoft office you need to click on start button right so we have a start button we have a start button so click on start button so you will get a what start menu you will get you will get a start menu you will get start menu so in the start menu you have a option called all programs click on all programs when you click on all programs you will get a list of programs which you have been installed in your computer so in that we have on option called microsoft office so click on microsoft office when you click on microsoft office you will get a list of sub applications in microsoft office including microsoft word so and then click on microsoft word when you click on microsoft word you will get a microsoft word you will get microsoft word interface you will get microsoft word interface so in the microsoft word interface the microsoft word interface has different elements okay so microsoft word interface or a window it has different elements the elements like it has title bar it has quick access tool bar and it has status bar and then it has a control box it has a ribbon and again in ribbon we have different type of tabs in each tab it has different kinds of commands right so and we have a work area a working area okay so we have a working area so in this working area you can work with the like uh, uh, you no know, typing the documents creating the documents and formatting the documents with the different kinds of tools like applying the color for the text or changing the font size font style right and you can change the background you can change the page color you can change the page margin you can change the page size the orientation of the page you can change so different kinds of you know that commands will be available in microsoft word interface okay so one by one that we will see the elements so the first element is title bar the first element is title bar right suppose imagine this is a page whenever you open microsoft office sorry microsoft word you will get the interface like this right so this is your page right so this is your page so this area is called a ribbon this area we call it as ribbon above the ribbon we have a title bar we have title bar so what is the use of this title bar right the name itself says that title bar it means whenever you save 
this particular document with the different name. Suppose after saving this file, I will give one name for the this document or this file, MS Word file. Suppose I will give one two three dot doc, right? Suppose I will give one two three as a file name for this particular file. So that the file name should be appear in a title bar, right? So the title bar. What is the use of title bar? Title bar. It helps to title bar. It helps to it visit. It shows the name of the file. It shows the name of the file. And then below the title bar, we have ribbon bar. We have ribbon bar. So in the ribbon bar, we have different kinds of tabs. We have different kinds of tabs like a file tab. Home tab, uh, page layout tab. Next we have review tab, view tab. We have right. So help we have right. So insert tab we have. So we have different kinds of tabs, right? So dear students, so in the next class we will discuss each and every tab and some other elements of this Microsoft Word interface. Thank you.